this is one of those games that looks a lot like a kind of a Civ type thing. Uh, I played through a few turns of this, uh, or I played through the tutorial, and it looks promising. It looks like it has elements that I like from a bunch of different things and a very localized, uh, very specific kind of thing. Now, one thing that was kind of odd is that for the general campaign, you can't play anybody from the very beginning. Um, I think part of that was so that you wouldn't feel overwhelmed. And uh, so for me, it was kind of strange because it's the big, you only get a chance to play the big guys, right? So you get a chance to play Athens or Sparta, the Achaemenids. Uh, so I, you unlock the factions as you go on. And so I feel like maybe this is like, okay, let's play through this. Uh, and so you get a, a sense of how the game works. I'm playing on the medium difficulty. I don't know. Again, like I've said, I've only played through the tutorial. This might be a very brutal way to learn how to play the game. But hey, you know what? That's uh, that's how I'm gonna learn how to play the game. Sometimes you just need to throw yourself into it. Now we're playing as Sparta, and uh, it looks like there's a bunch of the map here that's not uh, not actually your own territory, which is kind of neat. So I think there's a bunch of states here uh, that we have contact with, and there's a bunch of gray area. Now I'm not sure if those are just states that we don't have contact with, or if it's unsettled, right? So if we look here at Messine. Uh, and Pilos, those are historically part of what we later know as kind of the Spartan kind of area on the map, right? So if we take a look at the political map, uh, there's some blank spaces here. This is theoretically uh, 359 BCE. Now, the funny thing is that uh, because the resolution on my screen is so high, the, uh, the UI is a little small, so I think I might actually have to adjust that a little bit. But uh, we're at war with Messenia, peace with Arcadia, Peace with Corinth. So it looks like the only people we're actually at war with are the uh, Messenians. Uh, there's no real easy way for us to look at the map and determine, hey, we're actually at war. Um, so that's also kind of interesting, right? We can't just click on the map and be like, oh, hey, look, we're at war with people. Uh, so that's that's a little odd. Um, this is Messenia here, and it looks like this is also our territory. Um, okay, so there's there's cameos, right? We can't, we also can't seem to zoom in on the map, uh, so that's also a little strange. But hey, you know what? Every game's gonna be different, right? So, uh, right now, we are at war with the Messenians. We also have Zakynthos, which is actually part of our territory as well. Um, so I think the first thing we need to do is start moving our troops to the border here with Messenia. I don't think they're going to attack us. We're probably going to have to bring the war to them. So it looks like they have a couple of big cities here. So I don't know what the two means compared to a one. I think that's just the size of the city, right? So we have Messini here and Pilos, which looks like their capital. Um, I'm not sure where their border actually ends. Uh, Mantine is up here. I'm not sure exactly when the fog of war lifts here. But uh, we're going to move some of our units across here. Maybe take this... Uh, Take this gold mine while we're at it. Attack the resources of the enemy. There we go. So, we have their gold mine. I don't know what that does, but uh, hey, gold sounds great. So, let's keep that going. We have a couple more units here. Uh, Asopos. Yeah, let's just move everybody west. I don't think we're going to have to really worry about anybody attacking us from the ocean. Uh, let's see. We have... We're at peace. Uh, we are not at war with this, this country. Okay, so again, we're not at war with anybody else except for the Messenians, so I think it's probably going to be our best bet to move all of our troops in that direction. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for everybody to get over there. We have a couple of troops here. Who is this? Uh, Teriotias' army. We have a settler here, it looks like. So I think I'm going to have him go... Uh, we can have him build roads and stuff. So it looks like we have a couple of uh, territories here that are fine. Um, we are all connected by roads here. So I'm going to have him go outside of Sparta and just continue to develop it. Um, because that is our capital, I'm assuming. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually know how capitals work in this game. And, oh, okay, here we go. A gold mine, tile supplied. Okay, so really what this guy needs to do is set up a road. Um, I'm going to have him move here. I don't know if I can cancel that order. Cancel. Okay. 
So, have him move here. Who else are we? Uh, okay, it looks like we have Sinon's army here. So let's have him move to Messini as well. Severely damaged. Okay. The UI is a little fiddly, but I'm totally willing to work with that. Okay, so we have Teddy UTSS army, Alcamanis's army, and the gold mine over here. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm trying to see if I can move this guy, uh, Sinon's army. I'm going to have him move. I don't know if there's a limit on the number of units you can have somewhere. Um, okay. And I think we're done with all of our units right now. We have a, a build facility option here, but I think right now I'm just going to keep it the way that we are. <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm kind of seeing what the game's going to have us do. So let's end that turn. Our rivals are scheming. So, uh, again, I think my biggest thing is to try to unlock uh, some of the other factions here. Okay, I don't really care about the Achaemenids. I only really care about... Ah! This... Yikes. Okay, so those are independent nations, right? So... We technically, they're, they're ours for the taking, right? So maybe we can just start expanding. I don't know exactly how that's set up here, but it looks like it's not that everybody has uh, something fixed. It's not like a whole bunch of states are already on the map. There are about 28 factions or something like that, it looks like, from the very beginning of the game, but I'm not sure. It looks like everything that's gray is pretty much an independent faction that needs to be swayed to join somebody else. Uh, and so in that case... We're going to have to send a bunch of settlers out, uh, take over some islands here, expand. Um, of course, the uh, Lacedaemonians are not known for their fleets, but hey, you know what? In this version of history, maybe they will be. Who knows? Maybe we need to uh, produce a ship somehow. So there's a couple units that are going into Messini here. It looks like they just are building a, uh, a temple down there. Okay, select a technology. Let's select coinage. That seems straightforward. Coins started to be used as a method of payment as tokens and tra trade transactions to pay for services of mercenaries. Coins were minted by merchants, city-states, and ruling dynasties. Most of them were used only locally, but some became widely circulated to other parts of the world through trade. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Yes. Perfect. Hades warriors close to Artagos left the underworld. Huh. Hades warriors close to Artagos were sent by Hades, the god of the dead, to the world of living, and they have started terrorizing the region. The only defense against them is to kill them. Huh. I... That's an interesting... What is that? What is that? Tufilia. Uh... Wow. Okay. Seems like a kind of like a high fantasy element here. I don't know what that is, or who those people are, or what the deal is. I thought I was playing a regular scenario, but apparently this has turned into something kind of sci-fi-ish. Okay, so commander's advice not available. Let's see. Uh, we have three units here. Uh, tile supply at 100%, terrain attack bonus plus 20%, attack withdrawal chance 70%. So we actually have, uh, it looks like a bunch of positive modifiers for us here. Let's see. Um... Alcamenis is uh, inexperienced pelasts. It sustained small damage. Uh, attack ability is greatly impaired. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Teleutesa's army. Attack. Uh, terrain attack bonus plus 40%. So let's go ahead and attack with him first. Oh. Draw. Uh, I don't know why it took the entire army. But okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so he, he retreated. Again, uh, let's see. Sinon's army. Sure, let's attack. Hey, that looks like a victory for us. Perfect. Uh, now, do we have another unit? Okay, I don't want him to move anywhere. I need to have him build a route from here to Sparta. Okay. 
connecting that mine here. And then we have another unit here. Um, enemy unit is on this tile. I don't know why we can't move. Okay, so there's a couple of things that are still a little confusing here. Uh, dangerous position, reliable assessment. Um, let's let's actually have him heal. Who else here we go? Okay, so it looks like we might not be... So we are not war at Mantinea. Again, I can't tell if this is our land or not. Gate to the underworld. Lerna. Argolis. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I don't even know what that means. I don't know if we can go on... I think this is part of those things where we can go on like a heroic quest to gather things. Uh, let's see. Let's build. I'd like to see if we can uh, get to uh, all of this here. I mean, Crete seems to be unsettled. I don't know why we're not going after it. Uh, we have some uh, access here to Same. So I don't know why Zykinthos is not building anything. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's have them build a unit. Defense. Eh, okay, we don't really... I'm not super worried about Zakynthos building anything. But, all right, let's see. Let's go to the build facility window. Nope, that's not what I want to do. There is the state decisions window. Again, not what I want to do. And no objectives. So, let's see. Strategic overview, political map, trade overview. Um, okay, so there's a settler. A nomad and settler. So, that's the specialty. Specialization here. Ah, insufficient number of local citizens. Okay, so maybe that's the reason why uh, this needs to grow as a city first. So maybe... Ah, I think maybe that population number has something to do with it. <laughs> so let's say Asopos. Skip units, build an improvement, new specialization, build in four turns. Uh... Pomodoro Cavalry. Okay, so it does... It's one thing, right? So these guys build boats. Settler. Right, do we need to have boats to have the settlers go over land? Is this one of those? Or is it just... Whatever? <laughs> right, so we have Zakynthos... Can I build a settler here? New specialization, build an improvement, skip unit. I guess not. Uh, so if we go to Gitteon, Gutteon, we can build boats or a settler. Okay. A non-military unit that can build cities, roads, and bridges, cultivate agricultural lands, and modify terrain bonuses. So it builds it in two turns. It would take 10 gold and uh, 10 people. Semi-military transport unit. Okay, so uh, really what it is, is that we need to build both boats and settlers. So Asopos can build Pomodoro Cavalry. That's a ground unit. We can't seem to change its specialization either. Okay, so if we do a new specialization... Hmm. I think I'm going to have it stay with the cavalry here. Now, Sparta... Can build hoplites, peltasts, settlers. Now, settlers are not the same as nomads, right? So, nomads are the ones that actually build cities here. So, we can have Githeon build a boat. Because we need those first. And those are the most, most expensive things. We don't have any boats either. So, let's build a boat. Build a boat! And we have a settler here. And he's building roads. Uh, Selassia, so this unit we have here, we can have him, you know what, we're just going to have him, yeah, we're going to have him go continue. I don't know why this is highlighted in green, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn. I think I have everybody doing exactly kind of what I want. Uh, it's, again, so the learning curve seems to be a little uh, a little big, even after the, uh, okay, we don't care about the Kevinids. Uh,
Uh... Hmm. Again, if somebody is on the other side of the map, I don't care. Focus. Boyotia. Okay, so Athens is here. It looks like they might be at war with the Achaemenids. Treasure map discovered. Our spies found a man who claims to know a way to hidden treasure. We should send one of our heroes or generals to find out more, and perhaps he will even find and bring us a cache of great treasures. Cool. So let's uh, let's attack Messini. Insufficient action points, huh? So who is recovered? Uh, let's see. Cleargos's army. Oh, he doesn't have the uh, points, huh? Okay, so Sinon's army. I don't know what this is. Oh, here we go. Uncertain outcome. You know what? Let's let's keep. Uh, well, who else is here? Okay, so Alcamani says army is at full strength. Uncertain outcome. You know, let's go ahead and attack it. A draw. Okay. So we got a little bit of experience, but uh, not not the result I was looking for. Now, I'm not sure if we attack with everybody at the same time, or is it just per unit? Enemy unit is on this tile again. So I feel like once you attack with a certain unit, it attacks with the entire stack, which again, not completely clear. It seems a lot like there's a mix of, there's some Forex strategy that's going on there. There is some kind of Civ uh, tile-based stuff in terms of placement also going on there. It also takes place in ancient Greece, which is really cool. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going for it. I feel like uh, the reviews I've read on Steam for it are very, very good. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to kind of get into this and see what it's like. I think right now, let's, can he build anything? Sell units? Destroy unit, skip unit, sleep. I don't know why he can't do anything here, but I'm just gonna have him stay there. Uh, this guy will stay here also, I guess. And I think we're at the end of that turn. Okay. 
the Achaemenids again. Don't really care. Too far away. Yep, one of the games that I was thinking about um, was Final Fantasy XIV. I started playing that a little bit off stream. Uh, it's kind of one of those games that I'm not sure if it lends itself well to streaming. So I've been uh, trying to do a little bit of that on the side, trying to like, kind of like see uh, what other games are out there. There's a bunch of stuff on my uh, list of things to play and uh, trying to see which ones I feel like I'm in the mood for, for the most part. So I thought, hey, you know, Turn-based strategy game sounds like fun. I played some Hell at Loose yesterday afternoon. I've been playing a little bit more Overwatch because they had some skins that were available in-game that were for Lunar New Year. So uh, that has been fun as well. So just kind of playing around here and see uh, see what else is out there. Oh, okay. Peace proposal. Do you want to accept signing the peace treaty from Boyotia? I didn't even know we were at war with them. Okay, so there's a little weirdness here with the UI. I can't really tell who I'm at war with. It's a little confusing. Katia initiated the talks and Boyota agreed to negotiate peace with you. Uh, sure. I don't, I didn't know I was at war with them, but sure. That's, that's great. Cool. Yes. Peace sounds great. Yes. Fourth version of its game. Which game is that? Summer 358 BCE, Sparta. Okay, let's go ahead and attack Messenia. We have a full strength army here. Uh, Kleotikos' army should be able to take this down. Absolute supremacy. Just take it. Take the city. There we go. Perfect. Kleotikos' army beats the Messenians. Perfect. Now we have a bunch of stuff that we're supposed to do for Messenia. I don't know where I want these armies to go. I want them to... I, I don't, are we supposed to do something? Okay, so I think part of the thing about this now is that we need to actually do something so it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Unit is not producing. Repair city. That means 19 stone and a bunch of what I'm assuming is wood. Yes. Okay. And uh, let's also... Go to Pilos and Mortone. Keep moving. Ah, we need to... Okay, so that's what those things are. We need to, like, establish supply lines. Okay, attack the temple. Take the temple. I don't know how this game kind of divvies the land up, but it's also interesting that it takes place at this very kind of like granular level which I like. I don't really... an enemy unit's on this tile. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I'm not sure if I can attack with this guy or not or why I can't attack on that tile. Can we destroy it? Can we raid it? Do we take the money? Do we take over the tile? Do we destroy it? I guess we just destroyed the temple. Um, I didn't want that. They That was a free temple. Uh, okay, so yeah, a little bit confused on what that's supposed to do. Uh, yeah, did not want that to happen because that would have been a temple for me for free. I didn't need to destroy that. That was just something <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing there. Okay, uh, who are we moving? Teleutius army. No, 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 stay here. Universe game, huh? Takes place in Europe-ish. It depends. What's a universe? Which which universe game is it? Okay, so we have the settler here. Okay, now he's here. He could build a bridge. No, no, no. What I really want is for him to build a field. Oh, no, no, no. no. This is where we're gonna build that temple. Let's build a field here. Who am I? Sinon's army. Promodroi. Uh, okay.
attack unit. Right. So we can attack this. Okay, so now we have the Iron Mine from Messenia. Okay, this seems to be going really quickly for this war, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, so let's have... Nope, nope. Okay, so we have a boat. So is this ours? Motione. Okay, so what I want really is to have... Can he explore? Like, what is his deal? What does he do? <laughs> what does this boat do, actually? Okay, so I think I want Githion. Okay, so Githion only has one now because it built a boat. And I don't know if that's like... Okay, let's build a Nomad. Ah, it can't build either one of those. Sparta is at one. Again, I don't know what these mean. I thought that meant city size, but I could be wrong. Okay, how about Selassia? Can Selassia build? Nope. Peltasts. New specialization. Let's say, uh... Oh, in 12 turns. Huh. Okay, so we... I, there was somebody who could build... We had a city that could build, um... Nomads. But I guess not right now? There we go, Zakynthos. Okay, right, right, right. Now, why can't it build? Insufficient number of local citizens. I don't even know what that means. Okay, so if we go in here... Okay, no, that's the capital. <laughs> okay, I remember the tutorial. I'm supposed to be able to do something in here to increase the birth rate. Um, two citizens. There is a button here. Overview? Nope. Strategic overview? Nope. What window was that again? Zykinthos. Uh. No. Uh. Let's see. Land improvements. No. It was, oh my goodness. Where is the. Oh, there we go. Birth rate and support. Number of citizens. Okay, yeah, but how do I get to the city building area? <laughs> okay. Defense. No, that's not it. Oh, my goodness. I don't think I get it. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about playing EU, uh, but, you know, I wanted to give this game a chance because EU is one of those games that's just like... I'm really wanting to play that, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I think Imperiums uh, is a good kind of... Uh, I wouldn't even say competitor, because I don't like putting games like that in there. I, I feel like it's a good kind of exploration of the genre. And I want to be able to uh, to kind of play around in here and kind of give it, give it its chance to kind of... Uh, Show me what it's got. And it's not like I'm saying, oh yeah, you know, prove to me this is a good game. No, no, no. Not at all. Uh, I'm just trying to see what their version of that, that experience is. Yeah. Where is... There's a screen for grants. Okay. State decisions. Nope, that's not in here. Oh, is it the flag? Ah, here it goes. Okay, it's birth rate support. That's what I want. It's not... It's the whole state. Let's see. next nut to crack here is Pilos. Okay, we don't need to see the Achaemenids. Ah, uh, current relations of another player with a right click on his banner. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, this game is really interesting in the fact that I was looking for something that's not just... So I think in some ways the EU series uh, is a little too high level. I really like CK3. I feel like it's a lot more granular and kind of a little bit more of the experience I'm looking for. But this is like, okay, I've been playing, you know, Expeditions Rome. Uh, and I was playing Field of Glory Rome a few uh, a few months ago. And so I was like, okay, so this this kind of like... I wouldn't even say the best of both worlds. It's like this really interesting kind of like you get a little bit of Civ, but it's like actually based on history. Because I love Civ, but I haven't played in a long time because I want something a little bit more grounded in like historical, you know, situations. And this is definitely one of those things um, where it is far more historically accurate. Um, it is a very kind of hyper local focus and I like that too the fact that it's like okay Greece during a very specific period um you know uh, there's the Total War series that I haven't played uh, I forgot the one that takes place a uh, Troy Total War Troy ooh we're on the defense huh ah they're fighting back uh so peace proposal uh no no why would I want to why would I want peace with Messenia? We're we're right there, Thessaly. Thessaly fed I. Sure. And Talkidas's fleet and critical Pelagos close to Nereids. Nereids. Nereids? <laughs> and Talkidas's fleet and critical Pelagos has found itself not more than one tile from a group of Nereids. These sea goddesses often cast protective spells on vessels that anchor nearby. We should stop there to see if we can gain their favor. Such opportunity might not come again. Fantastic. Okay. Antarkidas' fleet has found itself not more than one tile away. Okay, so where... Ah, the Nereids. Okay. Okay, so I guess we should just stay here where the Nereids are. Kind of interesting that they have these kind of like... Uh, supernatural elements in the game too is pretty cool. So Pilos, Pilos, and then then we have really we just need to kind of uh, Teliutes's army. Teliutes's uh, army. I want it to. I want it to heal. Uh oh. I think I was clicking on the wrong unit. Okay, here we go. Okay, I want it to heal. I don't know why I can't heal. So there are certain things that I'm not quite... Okay, let's see. So I want this to recover in one turn. Okay, it built a field here. Let's go south to Gition. Build another field. Okay, so we have a boat here. I'm just going to have it skip its turn. No, let's go. Let's go over here. There we go. And then maybe we can have it We'll just have it rest, I guess. I don't know if that is doing anything at all whatsoever. Uh, looks like we might be... Okay, last turn resources. Plus seven. Okay. So I don't know why it's in red. Hatsune Miku. Awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. Hatsune Miku. Messini. Settler. Okay. I can build a settler. No, what I need... Zakintos. I need Zakintos to build a nomad. Looks like we might have a surplus of coal. 
Last turn surplus is 0 0.18, uh, 1.8. Last turn surplus is 5.2. I don't know why these, t uh, I don't know why this is in uh, red here. Are we losing that? Hmm. Nassini will be prepared in one turn. Uh, cool. Okay, what else is here? What is this? Iron Mine needs emergency aid. Ah, okay, where is that? Oh, I think we need to double click on this. Iron Mine, okay. Emergency aid. There we go, okay. Gold Mine is damaged and needs repair. Where is this? Ah. Perfect. You know, if we surround Pilos, this is actually better. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Defeat. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think we just always need to skip the Achaemenids. I'm not really. <laughs> you can apply a different terrain color overlay to highlight differences between terrain types. Ah. I don't know exactly what one needs to do to unlock some of the factions here, because I really want to play, like, as a small island nation, right? But I think it's really neat how granular all this gets, is, like, you actually take over, like, tiles. Uh, that's one thing I feel like that's kind of missing from games like EU4. Um, you don't really see how your empire is expanding tile by tile. It's like a whole territory. I mean, it's fine, right? Uh, you get a little bit more of that granularity in CK3, right? Because it's usually county by county. You get that even more in, say, Hoi, where it's just like, again, kind of county by county. But like the, you know, the time period is obviously different, right? And the scope of that is different. So to see this in the ancient world is pretty neat. I don't know if Motione is actually theirs. Okay, so... Winter. Building Messini in Messenia has fin uh, finished. Unit settler close to Githion's ready. Pithio okay, turn to Sparta start. Now, we have... We have Antalkidas' fleet here. Boat is a basic navy vessel used for transporting units over sea. It has limited action range and can only fit one unit inside. It can cross the sea, but storms can easily damage or destroy it. Map highlight is explained in Imperium's Library F1. Okay, so I think... Nettiads. Okay, so I'm going to look at the uh, F1, Nettiads Library. Let's see. Oops, not the research tree. There's a bunch of technologies. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, huh. So there are no Nereids in the map item menu here. Huh, alright. Well, tile supply at 100%. Is that. Critico Pelagos. I don't know what this does.
All right, so this is kind of tricky here. What are we going to do here? So, okay, here we go. Self-heal in one turn. Here we go. Yeah, let's attack this unit here. Perfect. In a recent battle, one man, Epidat, uh, Epitadas, distinguished himself. His courage and boldness will serve us well. As a hero, he can set out on quests and treasure hunts and gain experience so that one day he could be promoted to a general. Okay, that's neat. Oh, okay, and here's our hero. Epida, uh, Epitadas. Okay, so Epitadas, what can you do? Build and board vessel in one turn. Okay, so maybe if he goes over here where the Nereids are, maybe something happens to him there? I'm gonna have these units heal themselves. Okay, so again. Okay, now we have another settler here. I feel like he could keep developing. I wanna leave this space here for a temple eventually. And I don't know what the other buildings are. So far, there's a blacksmith. Um, from mines in a vicinity, mounted and transport units can be built in a stable. Okay, and a temple. So the temple should go here, because that's three units away. Actually, here could be good, really. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, I don't know if that's too far from Salasia. Here's good. Here's good. One, two, three. Yeah, right, right, right. Right. So this would be good, and then I guess he can build... Uh, chop wood, huh? Destroy bridge, destroy road. Chop wood in two turns. Oh, okay. What is this? Woodlands. Let's go to Salasia. Maybe he can build stuff there. Or actually here. Maybe in Asopos. Gold mine will be repaired. Emergency aid. Partially healed. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, is there anybody else? I think we can end the turn there. I think it's kind of, you know, I usually try to play really small nations. I'll play like, you know, uh, OPMs, one province miners, and a bunch of games. Uh, but like, maybe not one province miners. But, uh, you know, so a game like this where I'm just like, okay, I can't start off playing as like the most minor island nation out there. It's kind of weird from the very beginning. I guess they do really want you to kind of learn, hey, you know, learn the basics first so you don't get like trampled in uh, in a regular game. I don't even know who I'm at war with and who I'm at peace with. Misia. Musia. Like, I don't want to get dragged into anything if I make allies with, say, Elis or Patrai, right? So they're fighting each other. So I don't want to get drawn into that. Um, we do have an Alpactos. Oh, oh, are they trying to outflank us? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Well, I want that guy to get on land as <laughs> as soon as possible. Uh, Peace Treaty from Ionia. Where is this? Yeah, that that works. Sure. I don't know who I'm at war with. Public unrest almost swallowed the whole of Messini and Messenia. People rebelled against the local governor and violence took over. Parts of the city were plundered or even destroyed, but eventually the army managed to get the city back under control. Uh-oh. That's not great. I don't know why they're rebelling. 
Okay, so Messini and Messini is rebelling. Sparta and Ione have signed peace. Building gold mine close to Messini has been finished. Building iron mine close to Pilos has been finished. Unit Cleocos' army close to Pilos is ready. Okay, so uh, let's really kind of surround this unit here. Now let's uh, let's attack Pilos. We've kind of surrounded them for a while. Cleocos' army. Short odds. Here we go. Or actually, you know, do we have Sinon's army? Dangerous position. Ah. Can we recover? Can he move there? Okay. Kidonia. Ah, uh, the Nereids are not, they're not there anymore. Uh, maybe, yeah, for whatever reason. I don't know what that is, but I'll uh, figure that out next time. Okay, so who are we actually... No, we're gonna stay here. Okay. Loyalty. 19% out of 100. That's not great. Uh, how do we repair this? I don't know, like influence? I don't know what that means at all. Okay, next unit. So it looks like we're producing a bunch of coal. Uh, maybe let's... Eddie's. Okay, so we... Eddie's is fine. Let's, uh, let's establish a trade uh, relationship here with Eddie's. Trade route access. Okay, so we're in pretty good, pretty good terms with them. Uh, let's see, trade. I think we're good. Offer my proposal. I don't know how this works yet, so we'll see. I'm not sure how uh, how goods are weighted in game. Like, is coal something really hard to come by? I don't even know what you need it for, honestly. Is it for power? Uh, you know, factories, blacksmiths. I don't know.
So the interesting thing is I'm trying to do a couple of things here. I'm trying to figure out how the game plays and also kind of to, to unlock different factions here. I think in some ways I want to be able to play tall, right? So can't really play tall when you're as big a country as Sparta. Uh, if you're like, you know, a small island nation or a single... Ooh, who's this? Are those the soldiers of Hades that we were reading about earlier? How is Pito still able to field an army? New technology. Coins start to be used as a method of payment as tokens and trade transactions and to pay for services of mercenaries. Cool. So we just unlocked that. Molossian Kingdom. Sure. I'm not in any... Yeah, I don't really... Trade was accepted. Nice. Messini demanded a change of the local government. People were unhappy with the current administration. Called for a new governor to be appointed. The R was able to suppress the rebellion and execute its leader. The city's back in your hands. Who is this? Archigos General Nico Stratos. Messini influenced by Argolis. Influence of Argolis and Messini is growing in the morale in the city by drop by 8%. Ah, is this the Argolids? Who is this? An enemy unit is on this tile. Epidatas. General Nico Stratos. Who is this? Archigos. Argolis. Okay, so he's a general. Okay. So, let's get our best soldiers here, the most recovered units. Cleodocus has army. Here we go. Eagle chances. Let's finally get this attack going here. Oh, nice! Oh, wow. That was a really, really easy victory. There we go. Capital of Messenia, Pyrrhos in Messenia, was captured by Sparta. This was a bold step. You should review what this new situation means for you. So, I don't know uh, if we can annex them. Okay, we're entering Messini. Pilos. Okay, so Pilos we need to repair for sure. Emergency aid. This unit is also here. I don't know what they're doing here. Okay, Teriutius' army. I want... No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. So, Diarcos' army, he's already... Iron Mine repair map item. There we go. Okay. So, Mothone... Okay. Is this a settler? Did we capture a settler or something? I guess we did. Forager. Ah, okay. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to heal.
Okay, so let's take a look diplomacy wise on what they own it. Where where's our boat? Okay. So we have a boat here. Now, can we sign an annexation treaty with Motheone? Messenia? Strategy review. Morale increases 15%. Probability of success is 70%. It would cost... Uh, okay, so it costs us a bunch of knowledge and gold. Propaganda. Morale increases 10%. It would cost what? Okay, so... Morale increases 15%. Okay, that I don't need. No trade route established. Uh, I guess we can't sign a peace treaty with them just yet? Motione. I mean, like, they have one territory left. I don't know what this guy is doing here, though. Okay, again, we're going to be... Oh, you're skipping the Achaemenids. <laughs> Looks like the Odysseans are doing pretty well against the Athenians here. Man, you see how fast that horse runs? It's kind of scary. Uh, the Odysseans are doing pretty well up north here. I'm not sure what the Macedonians are going to do against them. Team Christos Ori. Kaldike. Okay. Korkira. Karia. So Korkira is one of those Korkira is one of those places I wanted to play as. Uh, it's a small Aetolia. Uboya. Okay, Uboya again would be kind of fun. They have like a huge area to play around with, right? A very, very prosperous island here. Misia, Ionia. Akaya versus Edis. Okay, so that's not great. Uh, they better not be heading toward our territory of Akinthos. Or as Akinthos. We don't have any defenses there whatsoever. It's not great. Uh, did we just abandon the city for no reason? <laughs> Misia. Okay, sure. Messenia. Mm. No. Well... Okay, here's the thing. Why why accept peace now? Why not just keep fighting them? Okay, so train. Nope. So who's this? Sinon's army. Cleochus' army. Okay, you know what? I actually want him to uh, heal. So I don't know why I can't heal inside. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, here we go. Influence tile. No, no, no. What does that mean? No... Influence tile slash unit one turn. No, I don't want it to.
Okay. Gate to Underworld, Titania. Oh, attack unit. Here we go. Okay. Stone quarry. I mean, do we capture that or destroy? We don't destroy it. Okay, once. Where's our hero? Epidatas. Unit is too far. Train. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, Cleopas' army... Okay, so they're all going to be moving into Pitos. I don't know why we left in the first place. We obviously... I think we need to actually... We probably need more um, Hoplites. Okay, so Hoplites... Why can't we build nomads? Oops. Zakynthos can technically build a nomad, but it doesn't have... It doesn't have the right number of citizens, so I don't know how to build this up. And... Oh, the settler. What is it doing here? Why can't it move? There it is. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right. He's a hero, not a general. He can only do a couple of things and not everything. He can't encourage yet. He can go on quests if he wants to have a boat. Um, so yeah, this is one of those, it's a small indie dev, right? And everything I read on Steam was very, uh, very positive about it. And I was like, you know what? I want to give 
the game a chance, uh, not only because it's one dev's work, right, but it's because it's supposed to be really, really good, and it does have a lot of that just one more turn feeling. I can definitely see that from here. Um, I've only played it for like an hour plus the tutorial, and it's just really, uh, it's supposed to be really, really good. The diplomacy apparently is really good. I love the fact that you have a lot of control over the map and it is a kind of a granular experience. You don't just like take over an entire province. You actually have to move troops into a certain area. In order to do that, you take over tile by tile. Each of the tiles has modifiers that affect things. So it's a very kind of like, uh, but not just in the general sense, right? Like it, it really does seem to affect gameplay. Like the terrain affects gameplay. Uh, there's a lot of kind of depth in the uh what it looks like the different kinds of troops that you have so it's it's a lot more uh i don't know i wouldn't say like micromanagey than a lot of the games but there's a lot more i feel like opportunity to pay attention to detail and i feel like a lot of that just opens up as the game goes on it's not it's not super complicated but at the same time it, there's a lot more depth there than say some other games uh, that kind of want to brush over that or sweep all those details under the rug because they might be a little too quote unquote complicated. Um, I feel like there's a lot more attention to uh, the fact that you have to make decisions um, that affect your cities in a more specific way. So it's yeah, it's a kind of interesting mix between like you said, Civ and uh, Total War, um, and I feel like there's a, a fair amount of grand strategy built in there as well. Uh, the history of Athamantia ends here. This nation was defeated. All their active units disbanded or joined armies of other states. History can be cruel. Only the strongest win. The rest fade into obscurity. Okay, so I don't know where Athamantia was. Messenia's army landed on our coast close to Mothone. The army of Messenia has landed on our coast close to Mothone. Kalinos' army clo cho close to Mothone unit leads the first wave of invading forces disembarking on our coast. We cannot leave such an act without response. Careful assessment of our situation is necessary. Uh, well, I mean, they, like, moved over one spot next to us in Pinos, so I don't think, uh, that's necessarily something. But they did capture a tile from us that really freaked our, uh, army out, apparently. How many factions can you play? So, that's one of those interesting things, is that, first off, uh, because I haven't played the game, they limit you to, I think... The only, only the biggest powers at the very beginning. So you're able to play as Athens, Sparta, uh, the Achaemenids, and I forgot who else. But you're not allowed to pick really, really tiny OPMs, right? So you can't pick a pro one province miner, or you know, in this case, maybe one city miner, which is something that I wanted to do. But I guess you unlock those factions the more you play. So I'm not sure exactly how that's set up in terms of, uh, is it hours that you play? Is it uh, goals that you achieve? Is it objectives that you complete? Uh, so. What I want to do is be able to play like a one province miner, like, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Some of these, uh, Korkida, right? So, or like, you know, th there's a lot of like, un yeah, it's, it's really interesting because unlike Civ where the whole map is open unless somebody else has gotten there first, there's this really interesting mix of a bunch of uh, NPCs who are your rivals and then a bunch of kind of like open territory. And there isn't, uh, you you actually grab territory by moving forces there and by building settlements. So it has that civil element going for it, but like it also has, I think the feel of being able to, be, you know, being able to actively do that. I think that's one of the things that Civ, for me, I always wish you could actually change the borders a little bit by moving troops somewhere. And that wouldn't happen, right? You'd have cities, depending on the version of Civ that you play, where you'd have influence. This, you actually can move troops onto, you know, a piece of land and be like, that's mine, right? So it's a really kind of dynamic thing. And I love, I love being able to like, look at a map and strategically say, oh, I want, you know, there's this really kind of interesting, map painting that you want to do and yeah i mean you do get that in the eu games right but this is a little bit more uh specific like you can take a single tile or two tiles you don't have to take over an entire province uh so yeah it's it's pretty cool it's pretty cool that way so it looks like their their troops here are annoyingly resilient i want to be able to take them all out uh let's see cleaticos's army should be able to take these guys out dangerous position <sighs> I want these guys to heal up. Um, and there should be an option for them to heal in the city. Okay, I'm going to repair the city now. But I don't know why certain units can't do that.
Hmm. Uncertain outcome. Dangerous position here. Pilos is not... Okay, I don't want the boat. Cleocos' army I want here. See, I don't know why our morale is not quite working the way I want it to. Or why we can't heal. Oh, oh no, I did not mean to do that. Oh, that was that was a fat finger twitch. Oh, but hey, we defeated them. <laughs> that was that was definitely not my intent uh, at all. But you know what? Uh, I'll take it. So let's let's uh, keep pushing that. Come on, yes. Nice job. Okay, Mothone. Now insufficient action points. Okay. So we just need to get these guys closer here. I beat that ass. I don't know what you're supposed to do here, man, but uh All right, and there's a boat here. Man, that was <laughs> Teliutes' army is not in a good shape here. Um, I'm going to have him maybe go into town. So we have the settler here. I need him to go over here so we can build uh, a bridge. I forgot that I had that settler here. This guy I'm going to send over here to Zakynthos. Oops, 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 hey. Because I want to be able to have him develop that area. Who else do we have left here? Okay, so these guys... Maybe he can influence. Move cannot be done here. I don't know what influence is. I'm sure there's an... There's a... Uh, just needed three thrusts of the spear. Exactly. Uh, I don't know exactly where else I'm supposed to... Okay, so Sinon's army... Maybe if we surround it... Are there any troops in here? It looks like there might be Peltasts. Diodromus' army. We don't have any information on him. Let's not get this guy cut off here, though. There we go. I haven't played Troy, so I know I have it. Um, I haven't played it. I remember getting it when it was on... Uh, there was a promo, and I remember having the game. So I do have it. I do have it, but I haven't actually played it. And, you know, I do like Total War. I, li I played Total War 2, obviously, uh, Rome. And I wanted to be able to see what the diplomacy was like in this game because I know that's one of those things that was lacking in some of the Total War games where it seemed a little eh, right? And I totally understand, like, there is that, you know, there's a lot more kind of like you can put an army on a certain pixel or put it behind a mountain and, like, you know, outflank somebody that way. Whereas this is obviously you your... You're limited to putting things on actual hexes, uh, so I feel like that's a difference as well. Um, okay, we don't, don't need to pay attention to the Odysseans, uh, but that would definitely be one of those games I'd be interested in playing. I remember seeing some people play it earlier on when it first came out, and it did look interesting. I forgot exactly what I was playing at the point at that point, but um, yeah, it, it's enough. It's definitely one of those games. that's like, well, it's it's well done. It has high production values, obviously, uh, so it'd be interesting to kind of see what the the uh, relative experience is like uh, compared to this. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I haven't played any of the, the Warhammer games. I've seen a couple of people play them, and it looks really interesting, and I'm not like anti-fantasy uh, or whatnot. Uh, I'm actually playing... All, uh, I started playing Final Fantasy XIV, actually, but that's obviously a different kind of fantasy, uh, right? So it's interesting uh, that there are some, like, kind of meta... Like, you know... Uh, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna say metaphysical elements. There's like kind of other elements to that, supernatural elements to it, which are really interesting. Where you know it makes sense because if you look at the Greek world, the ancient world, that that influenced a lot of decision making, right? So uh, it makes sense to include that in there. Uh oh, it looks like the Achaeans are taking over Elis. I am not sure where I'm at with those guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Looks like they're sallying forth. I mean, they are limited to literally, like, this one spot now. Okay, so... They've landed on our coast. Peltas uh, Tenthredron, the army. Okay, so... Cleocles' army is not in great shape here. Okay, Deliutus' army, I think I should send them back here. Okay, this is kind of weird here. Okay, yeah, I get it. Thank you. Exit out of that, but all right. Well, magic nerf version of Warhammer. Ah, right, 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 right. Yeah, when it released on the Epic Store, I got it for free there, and I haven't played it yet. That's why I haven't haven't gotten around to it. Okay, I want Teliutus's army to move somewhere, but for some reason I can't. I don't know why. Okay, next message. Select technology. Okay, so what do we want to research here? I don't know why it showed me this screen, but all right, that's not what I want. Okay, cancel. What? What is happening? Show proposal. Offer treaty. City visibility and tile visibility for Ionia. Uh, sure. Okay, now I can do something. Okay, so let's let's retreat a little bit. It's just a matter of time, right? All we have to do is heal up. not quite sure how to have a unit heal in the city here. I know it was part of the tutorial, but I couldn't quite figure it out. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot more straightforward here. Okay. Okay, so it's entering Pilos. And Cleocos' army, I want him to... Oh, 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 oh. What, what are you doing up here? Let's take over that mine, then? Choke them out. Okay, so he can build a bridge here. Wait, can he not? Okay, I don't know what's happening there either. Uh, <laughs> it's a little confusing sometimes. Okay, so I want this unit to load... I guess. Okay, so now we're in Pilos. And this guy needs to go here too. Let's withdraw to here. Okay. We have two units in here. Uh, victory, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, what the, what the, uh, victory conditions are for here. Oh, I guess, I guess we got that mine, and so now we control the rest of this area here. Okay, let's, uh, repair that emergency aid here. I think it might only be... Maybe it is what the victory conditions are. It might be just that. I could be wrong, but yeah, it might just be that. Yeah, actually, let me take a look here, if I can find that answer. Victory Conditions Imperiums. Birth rate of each city separately by clicking on the button picturing a baby in the state window. Oh!
Okay, it looks like uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. It's a very, very lively, very active community here. Uh, let's see. And I guess there could be different different victory conditions. So it's not just uh, military dominance. It's country development. Uh, so here we go. Victory conditions window. Let me take a look here. There's a game manual online, which is very cool. Um, I'm pretty sure I can probably even click on the Imperium's uh, manual in-game to get that for sure. So, yeah, Scotsman, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, what? But I guess they're the Idrisians, so they're like the pre-Slavic groups. Maybe they wore uh, certain kinds of clothing. I totally... Okay, let's just skip through these guys. I know there's a way to do this where I could just... Ah, here we go. Is this happening in the background? Yes, okay. So, map and UI, scenario... Victory conditions. Okay, territorial expansion. Bring under your control the majority of the known world. Okay, so there's that. Victory points, conquest of foreign territories and cities brings you points that will be accumulated until you reach a victory limit set for the particular nation. Refer to the victory points condition map to see where the cities and areas will bring you the most points. Military superiority. Build the strongest army in the world. The strength of your armies is compared to the accumulative strength of the armies of all the opponents. The military strength of your forces includes your own units, partially the units of your federation partners, as you are the master of your armies, but uh, does not include the armies of your confederate confederation partners uh country development become a leading civilization of the world by improving the state infrastructure and management and building the prestige of the country this condition requires that you have large cities some of the academy improvements a substantial increase of influence points every turn and a high overall number of influence citizen and happiness resources and technological dominance become the most technologically developed nation to fulfill this condition you need to jump ahead of all other nations in the research of technologies build academy improvements in your cities and have a substantial increase of invention points every turn so you can win by any of these. <laughs> Mel gives it right. Exactly. Trade proposal from the Mosian Kingdom. I offer 19 grain? That's a lot. I don't think I make that much every turn, bud. Oh, actually I do. That's a lot. For wood, knowledge, and influence? I mean, that's kind of a lot. No. I don't know if that's a good deal. Okay, Korkira. We offer with demand of your choice. Okay, so they're willing to give us coal, food, wood, and influence. Uh, what do we trade in surplus? Let's say uh, gold. Nah, I like keeping that. Uh, influence, stone. Yeah, stone we could do. We'll do one stone. What do you think, Korkira? Offer counter proposal. Let's see. Okay, offered treaty changes. Itolia. Map exchange, peaceful passage, trade route access. Okay, sure. Frigia. Sign of peace treaty. Yes, I, I'm not at war. I, I, I feel like I'm at war with everybody on this map. Olympic Games are coming. The Olympic Games will take place next turn. If we can cover the fees, we should not miss this opportunity to win not only prestige, but also a large amount of gold. Costs. Small amount of gold and influence. Gains a victorious great amount of gold and influence. Sure. How do I do this? Okay, so five gold and five influence? Absolutely. Let's do this. You can now participate in the next Olympics. The costs are not insignificant, but neither are the prizes and prestige if we win. Nice. All right. So these guys look pretty beat up, but so does our army, so I don't know. I guess I have to unload him. Okay, let's do this. Oh no! Oh, it's a draw. Oof. Do that again. Nicely done. Oh. 
Okay, well, do we have anybody in fighting condition here? Teliutia's army. Yeah, I don't know why he can't repair outside. Yeah. Sometimes the units I feel like can repair and other ones can't, so I don't know what the deal is. But okay, let's let's help Kaka Menace's army here. Like he can There we go. That's that's already a fresh <laughs> army right here. Okay, let's increase the birth rate here in Zakynthos. Okay, what is this? Trading will be completed in one turn. Birth rate support. Oh my goodness, there we go. Okay, so we're supporting birth rate support in our smallest cities. Um, we can also build... Uh, see, the thing is is that only... I feel like Zakynthos is the only one that can build uh, nomads. 